Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Zangi app on desktop. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software disk under this video. So let's get started. This case for you to start using Zangi or the Zangi app on your uh, desktop here, we need to do a few things here because the Zangi app itself does not have a desktop version. So we need to actually use a emulator for this one, which is fairly easy to use. So first things first is you need to install the BlueSax app which in this case, you just need to go to bluestacks.com here and you want to go ahead and click on the download button that you see here, which is Bluestacks 10. Now, once you've downloaded the installer, you should be able to see it in here. So go ahead and just run it and basically follow the on-screen steps to install it. Now, if you want to know the more specifics and in-depth uh, way to install this and set up your Bluestacks, we actually have a tutorial for that. So make sure to check out our channel. But once you've installed the BlueSax into your account or in your PC here, you should be able to see this UI. Now at the bottom left, you should be able to see the app player. So go ahead and click on it to open up the Android device that we've just added. So in this case, it's going to boot up as you can see right now on my screen. Let's go ahead and maximize this one. And once it's actually loaded, you should be able to start uh, accessing a few things here. So in this case, like any under any Android device there, you need to go to your system apps here and you want to go to Play Store. And from here, you need to sign in to your Google account. Let's go ahead and sign into our account. Now, once you're logged in, let's go ahead and start searching for Zangi. Let's go ahead and type into our search here and just type in Zangi. And from here, let's go ahead and search for Zangi app. And from here, let's go ahead and click on install. And once the Zangi private messenger app is installed, you can go ahead and start using it as you would. So let's go ahead and wait for this to fully install. So Zangi has now been installed. Let's go ahead and click on the open button here. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to sign in or register. And from here on, you can go ahead and just do whatever you want, either register or sign in and start using the app itself. And that's about it. So. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.